And another good example for you dealing with word problems, and in particular word problems dealing with ratios. And here's the word problem. One third of a number plus five fourths of the number is five more than four thirds of the number. You sit there and go, whoa, where do I start? Well, usually in algebra and problems like this, you say, let x equal, in this case, we're looking for a single unknown number, so let x equal the unknown number. So, now we have to come up with an equation. An equation constraints, something based upon what's given to us that will help us set up an algebra equation that we can solve for x. So it says one third of a number, since the unknown number is x, so let's say one third x. So one third x represents one third of the number, plus five fourths of the number, so plus five fourths of x, x being the unknown number, is five more than four thirds of the number. So if I take four thirds of the number and add five to that, it should equal to this. So this equals four thirds of the number, the number being x, plus five. Now, let's read it slightly different. One third of the number plus five fourths of the number is five more than four thirds of the number. There you go. That's the algebraic way to write that English sentence. Now we can go ahead and solve the problem. Notice that we have a linear equation in x, but there's, there's fractions there. We need to get rid of those fractions. That means we have to multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator. In this case, the lowest common denominator is the product of 3 and 4. So if we multiply both the left and the right side by the product of 3 and 4, which is 12, the fractions will go away. All right, that means we're going to multiply the 12 by, with each term in the brackets here, we'll multiply this 12 with each term in the brackets there. So 12 times 1 third x. So that means 3 goes into 12 four times, this becomes 4x. Plus 12 times 5 fourths x, well 4 goes into 12 three times, 3 times 5 is 15, so this becomes 15x equals 3 goes into 12 four times, so 4 times 4 is 16, that becomes 16x, and 12 times 5, that's 60. And there we got rid of our, our fractions. The next thing we want to do is uh, move all the terms with an x to one side, leave everything else on the other side, so this becomes 4x plus 15x plus, oh, not plus, oh, I almost made that mistake, remember, Whenever you cross the equal sign, you have to change the sign so that it becomes minus 16x equals, and we have a 60 on the right side. All right, now we have to combine like terms. So 15x minus 16x is minus 1x. Subtract from 4x, that gives me a 3x equals 60. Now we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the x, that's the 3. That cancels out, so we have x equals 20, which means the unknown number we're looking for is equal to 20. And just to make sure we did uh, the right things here, we got the right answer, let's go through this. Uh, what is one-third of the unknown number? Okay, so one-third of 20 is, well, that's 20 over 3. And if I add to that, uh, five-fourths of the number. What is five-fourths of 20? Well, that would be, uh, well, let's do it here. Five-fourths times 20. Well, 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So 20 over thirds plus 25. That should equal five more than four-thirds of the number. Well, let's see. What is four-thirds of 20? Well, let's see here. That's 80 over 3. And remember that the sum of these two should be 5 more than that, so that's plus 5. Now, are those two sides equal to each other? Well, the first thing I can do is I can subtract 5 from both sides. 
So if I subtract 5 from the right side, 5 from the left side, that gives me 20 over 3 plus 20. Is that equal to 80 over 3? Okay, well, uh, let's write 20 as, over, as a, a number over the number 3 as a fraction. So if I multiply the top and the bottom, this can be written as 20 over 1. If I not multiply the top and the bottom by 3, I didn't change that at all. Just wrote in a different form. I can say 20 over 3 plus 20 times 3 is 60. 1 times 3 is 3. So I rewrote 20 over 1 as 60 over 3. And is that equal to 80 over 3? And it certainly is, because 20 plus 60 is 80. So I just proven to myself that I made no mistakes, and 20 is the unknown number I'm looking for.